DeSoto Plymouth dealers from coast to coast present... Hello, everybody, and welcome back once again to Power Director Made Simple. In today's video, we are going to look at what's new for Power Director 365 in the monthly update that was released on May 3rd of 2024. Usually, Cyberlink releases an update at the beginning of each month, and these updates can include some bug fixes, some new titles or transitions, new features such as the recent AI features, and every once in a while, a major change to the user interface. Cyberlink seldom gives information about bug fixes that may have been included. And within a week or so of the update, their web page interface will catch up with the software release, and that website will give more precise information about what's new. Now here's the URL for checking on what's new in PowerDirector. Right now, let's take a quick look at each new item included with this May update. You are looking at PowerDirector 365, the subscription-based version, as it looks after the May update. While it may appear the same, let's get into the details. We're going to start with the 10 new Sparkle titles, which I think look quite nice and very promising in their potential use. These titles have their home in the stylized category for titles. And unfortunately, each new title includes another new font style to be added to your computer. There are also 10 additional promotional titles, bringing the total number of promotional titles up to 40. In addition, there are 45 sales overlay stickers which brings that total up to 70 in that promotion category. I don't know what Cyberlink's thinking is here, but apparently they must believe the majority of PowerDirector users are selling items on eBay or other social media marketplaces, or perhaps need to promote garage sales at their homes. Just to let you know, I have some used rusty nails for sale, if anybody is interested. Now for some seemingly minor but annoying changes on the preview window. You should notice something right away about the new preview window. Where is the speaker and volume icon in this new preview window? And what is that new icon added to the far right? If you hover over it, it will say, full screen. Well, right now, I'm going to preview a piece of background music from Cyberlink's menu. I'm going to click on Media at the top, and then choose Background Music, and then Cyberlink, and I'm going to choose the track 1983. That music should now play in the preview window. But what if it is too loud? How can you turn the volume down? Well, the short answer is you can no longer do that. If the audio in preview is extremely loud, and unless I'm missing something here, you would need to use the Windows audio controls to temporarily reduce the system volume. But I did learn something of a workaround in that the speaker and volume control icon does still exist. All you need to do is play the audio sample from the timeline. And then right-click the preview window to select a full screen. And magically, the speaker volume control is still there. Now, speaking of full screen for the preview window, there was that new icon that was added below the preview window to easily allow that choice. But it has always existed by just right-clicking in the preview window and selecting full screen. For some reason, Cyberlink thought it was very important that we need that extra icon in addition to the right-click menu. All right, I may be a stickler for details, but if it were up to me, I would remove that new icon for full screen and add back the speaker icon. Or, Hey, what's wrong with having both? Okay, for now, let's take a look at a major change in this update. 
This occurs in the user interface when you produce or export your editing to create the final video. This window for the various selections and choices has been completely revamped. So let's assume right now that I want to export my current video editing to make a finished video. As before, I just click on the blue export button at the top. For starters, Cyberlink finally fixed one little oversight that I pointed out a few months back. When you clicked on export, what used to, what used to say produce, the name of the new window that opened was still called the older term of produce. But now, when you click on export, the new window is called export. Well, at least we have consistency now. Notice the new export window. Gone are the buttons which were used to choose file formats such as H.264, MPEG-2, YouTube Online, Music, and so on. They are all still there but have been replaced by menu choices at the top of the window. Within the new video settings section near the middle, all of the typical formats, codecs, and resolutions remain, except for the choice of bit rate, which has been reduced to what amounts to be low, medium, or high, with the medium settings always being the recommendation. Now, anything else is available as a custom setting, which can be saved as a profile. Speaking of profiles, now for the bad news. If you had any custom profiles saved before this update, you can kiss them goodbye. No previous profiles were carried over in the new update. For those of you that may have consistently used custom profiles, you have to start all over again and recreate them. And a little bit of more bad news. If you look closely at all of those video settings, there are no options for audio settings. If you click on the advanced button, all you have there is a choice in surround sound such as stereo, AAC 5.1, or true theater sound. Apparently, there are no options for changing the audio bit rates or other parameters. When it comes to audio, Cyberlink is giving you a one-size-fits-all. The new export window cannot be resized, but can be moved around. The preview window is stationary, and there is no longer an option to enable or disable the preview during the rendering process. And there no longer is the colorful circle reminding you of the available space on your chosen drive, the amount of used space, the amount of remaining space, or the amount produced so far in the rendering process. So when you finally start the rendering process, another window opens which summarizes your video settings that you have already made, and it provides only a time remaining in a time elapsed graph at the top. Now one final thing of which you should be aware. If you notice on the new export window, right underneath the video preview, there is a large blank area. What do you think that will be used for? If you guessed Cyberlink's advertising, then you win the prize. Wanna wanna check it out. Overall, I think this was both a good update and a bad one at the same time. I somewhat like the new Sparkle titles, but I have more than enough stickers for sales promotion videos to last me 10 lifetimes. The removal of the speaker icon to control sound volume of the preview window seems to be either a bad choice or a mistake was made somewhere somehow causing it to be removed. And the same thoughts apply to the new export window. Now, I don't mind the new menu layout, but the loss of any previously saved profiles is a slap in the face of the users. And the loss of control over audio settings is probably going to be a contentious loss to some users. Not me, but probably some. And the loss of that handy dandy colorful circle that graphically depicted just how much space was being used on a storage folder 
is something that I will surely miss. Hey, here's an idea. You know that blank space under the preview window that probably is reserved for Cyberlink advertising? Well, that colorful circle will fit just fine right there. I have scoured every other menu and tool and I have not been able to discern any differences with the new update, but there's always the chance that some minor item or items have been changed. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. If so, please hit that like button. And if you haven't already subscribed, hit that big red subscribe button. Until next time, thanks to all of you for watching. This is George Penniman signing off with a reminder from the National Safety Council. September is Child Safety Month. So parents, teach them to cross at corners. Obey